Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is the second 40K tutorial. This one was suggested by It's it's Dagda, and it's a uh, Fiji Ouija track. Uh, the original will be linked in the description, but this is what this sounds like. It's a plucky sort of hammery bass sound kind of thing, and... Uh, the big, the primary component about that makes the sound was actually the easiest thing to do, which was the, uh, um, well, now I'm not going to show the chat. You do that to yourself. Uh, the, um, easiest part was to make the noise aspect. What I did here is I turned on the pitch mode to octave, which is actually changes how the harmonics themselves are weighted in the spectrum. And instead of weighting them, uh, by regular hertz mode, which is to say that there's less in the low and more in the high end, they're evenly spread from low to high. And that creates this very sort of noisy, not tonal sound. So with this, I made a pluck, and I also turned a prism on. But in the prism, I'm editing the articulator to go down really fast. You can kind of see it doing it. But the pluck is turning everything off, like, you know, quickly, quickly. Quickly, little quickly. The pluck shape is thus. This is so that we have the low frequencies in there, but they're not on for very long. This is so that it's nice and sharp and kind of, kind of, kind of thing. Um, and in the detune, I've also uh, turned it down to two because that's the regular distribution. And then this is the two, the two divider distribution, which is to say regular detuning motion means that it moves the harmonics away from the fundamental, but the divider means it moves them towards the fundamental. So that's what that does. Uh, I added a bunch of unison and pluck and whatever just to make the sound extra just weird and harmonic randomness just to be make sure that it's like as not tonal as possible. So that when it's paired with A, which is a really or a pretty average sounding uh, pluck bass, you get that. On the pluck side, uh, we just had the pluck. Here's the pluck shape. No, I'm not doing. Uh, on the phaser, um, I'm actually automating the phaser to be, be kind of a, a filter. Because I have the speed off, so it's not going anywhere. But I have a keyboard cracking. And then the, the phaser is, the width is being modulated from its position. Just to be a little bit interesting. Uh, it's on Hertz mode. I have a unison engaged. I don't have any unison like morphing or whatever. Uh, in the local EQ, I'm also kind of screwing around with the harmonics. Just because um, I don't know what kind of distortion it was used originally. But the distortion I decided to go with was in Harmer. And then I had to kind of like play with the harmonics before the distortion to get the kind of a similar tone. So there's that. Uh, it's a mix between the square and the saw, or the saw and the square side. Um, local EQ, EQ kind of changed some stuff. There's some. There's a volume envelope so that it, like it fades out totally. You can turn it off if you need to. Fade your width and the puck shape of different. The puck shape of different. That's that. And stuff. Not how you spell something else. Don't even know. God, I can use words today. I will. I promise you I will use them. But um, this is... What's up? This is how. Uh, if you would like to make a request, you can make it in the Reddit thread. The link to that is in the description. The link to this patch is also in the description. The link to the original was also in the description. Look, look at the description in my videos, you guys. Lots of information is in there. And it answers questions sometimes. But if you do have any other questions, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.